Simple enough, right? Unfortunately, that's the easiest part of this whole damn mess that we've gotten ourselves into. Are you ready? Remember, once we begin the attack, we fight until we are victorious, or we die with honor. <laughs> Very well. May we meet again after battle, or in Songar, brother. At least the rain provides some cover. What? Surprised to see me here? I am a guard and a soldier. I've got to help in this fight too, you know. Or... Are you scared? I'm sworn to protect this land and its people, but, but I'm a bloody guard. Nothing of this scale has ever happened to me. Then again, we've got Agnar leading us. There's no way we can lose. All right? Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. They're ready for you, Agnar. Thank you, Ulgar. Fair people of Valskar, for almost 700 years you have graciously allowed my family, the Borvaldurs, to lead you. Through thick and thin, you have worked hard, supported us, and provided unwavering loyalty. Unfortunately, not all who live in Valskar are content. The Junvaldir see the throne as their birthright, and something that can be owned or taken. They have started war after war, seeking power, their greed unmatched. One hundred years ago, they even agreed to give up, to stop fighting, and to accept peace. However, over the last few months, Ingvar Junvaldir, Jarl of Stalgard, has repeatedly broken that agreement. He has kidnapped my family, terrorized my people, gathered an army, and destroyed our great city. But now, the heart of the gods is within his grasp. And he has forced my hand. In honor of those who fell at Borwald, we must take up arms and return the favor, ending this once and for all.
Got what it takes? Ugly! Over here! <laughs> How did you find out where it was? Oh, will you help me out with that one? When I took your wife and kid, I was going to interrogate them to find out. Oh, However, on my way there, I got did. word that you had flocked in to save them. <coughs> How heroic. 
With you and your little clan gone out of town, it was easy enough for my thieves to sneak in and get that book. You didn't know where it was until then? Not until you were all kind enough to show me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really must be going. Attack! Must go after him immediately. His city is raised, and his army defeated. His only hope now is to get the heart of the gods. We must fight up to the temple containing it, to the west. Let's go! Got trouble.
chase your weapons. We walk on sacred ground. Just in time. After all, nobody's been in here for 600 years. I would hate for you to miss this momentous occasion. I'd already have the heart, but it appears to have some kind of magical shield around it. Something that book forgot to mention. But no worries. My wizards assure that they can remove the barrier in a timely fashion. Those keys you gave me worked wonderfully. I studied each one for quite some time. I'm truly honored to be the one in my family that finally gets to use them. So what are you doing this for, Ingvar? Why must you buy her such power? I do not want power. I want what is rightfully mine. Do you know what it's like? Have something that is yours taken from you, then displayed just out of reach every single day of your life. Yalmar led the group that discovered Falscar for years. They were loyal to him. Then, just because he wasn't the one that helped them, they all flocked to Olaf. Forgetting the services that Yalma had provided. To this day, the Vorbaldurs remain at the throne that they took from my family. A throne that is not theirs. The throne is not something you're entitled to, Ingvar. The people have the right to choose their leader. They chose the Vorbaldurs. They've done nothing but provide wisdom and help. Your family does nothing but cause trouble for the people. That is not true! How did you get your people to follow you so loyally? You promised them power, didn't you? You would get the heart and use it to help them. You lied to your people. That is the first thing that a king can do. You betrayed your city. How could you possibly hope to rule all of Falskar? I will not stand here being assailed by your petty claims. Admit it, Agnar. You've lost. After all this time and smooth sailing, you failed. You have let your family and your people down. Now, don't any of you move. I'll make this quick. We have to do something, Hagnar. We must stall him. Duel me! Excuse me? You heard me. I am challenging you to a round of combat. No guards. None of my companions. Just you and me. Hagnar. If you have a single drop of honor in your blood, you'll accept, or forever be known as a coward. <laughs> Fine. I'll play your little game. But fighting an old man wouldn't be much of a challenge, now would it? No. I want to fight the Traveler. They come waltzing through the gateway, supposedly foretelling some grand tragedy that is to plague the land. Certainly they must be special. He will provide a challenge, so I want to fight him. You must do it. You aren't a Nord, 
But you must still have some code of honor. You must fight Ingmar in my stead. But do not fight for your honor. Fight for the honor of the people of Falskar. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Thank you, my friend, for everything you have done for the people of Falskar. You put yourself in harm's way for the greater good of Falskar many times. That is not something that most men would have done. I hope that this may serve as a reward for your actions. What you did is not something that many would have done. And we owe you. I promise you that the scholars of Falskar will remember you. Brother Dorlo will make sure of that your deeds are more than mere legend. Now please, have some ale. Listen to Rurik play his songs. Relax. You have earned it. We have all earned it. Greetings, friend. If you need anything, just let me or Rengar know. I must continue to guide the people. Ingvar, two of the three large settlements destroyed. Many citizens scattered or killed. The land is still thriving with bandits. However, with the Yunvaldirs no longer bringing them here by the boatload, perhaps things will look up. Olaf Borvaldur led a group of just over a hundred Norse to salvation from Falskar's frigid wastes long ago. I'd like to think that I'm being given the opportunity to do the same for the people now. God be with you. Are you a hunter? If not, you should try it. Tracking your prey. If Falskar has some war is finally over, the unvolders are gone, I guess me and Olgar will return to our cabin, go back to the way things were. You know, when I first met you, I figured you were just another adventurer, in it for the gold, looking to find your big discovery. But I was wrong. You're a brave soul, and you have good judgment. I respect that. Maybe we can go hunting together someday. I'd be honored. Maybe, when Olgar's ready, we could even go hunt some of those bandits. See you. Hey, you 
wouldn't happen to have any me, do you? <laughs> Think so? Just kidding. And raise it high. The doom has come and our passed been so us by. Our prince has been so relieved and you figured out what was luring his dad away. He can finally relax. Drives. Glory to the fire. Glory to the fire. Save the land, <laughs> held their ground with Thanks sword again for finding my shield for me. Who fought Do you need something? Impending blight and saved us from I wish Olgar would stop hunting with his great sword. It was all for me. How you flatter me, my friend. I am but a simple house girl, an huntsman. As is Vega. I suppose we return now to the cabin. The Unbaldurs are gone. Maybe now we can all work towards peace instead of war. Oh, don't get me wrong. If obtaining that peace requires us hunting down a few rotten bandits, <laughs> and I'm all for that. <laughs> Fine day. What's a handsome man like you doing? Something in troubling? I am thinking about spiders. <laughs> Silly, squashy spiders. Let us go. Yes. I hope you're keep. I guess I go back to the Priory. I've served my purpose under King Agnar. Now it's time for me to return to serve my purpose there. Perhaps me and the other Priors will work on finding shelter. For the survivors from Borvald and Stargard. So many people's lives wrecked. Then there's the mystery of the gate in Zundhan. The prophecy of the Traveler was foretold. And you came to us in our time of need. I'm getting hungry. Perhaps it was again the work of Akravain, or Shor. Either way, I'd love to learn more about the gate that started it all. Talos guide you. Need a drink? Amber mead is the best. Bandits cover the land outside of town. A lot of caravans have gone missing, and a lot of people have lost gold because of it. Mm -hmm. Come back the next time you're in town. Stay safe out there. Do you need something? The roads are dangerous outside of town. Do you Travel need something? Nice to see you again. Hi. What can I? What can I play for you? Ah, the great fable of the Dragonborn. Right. Most intriguing Hello. indeed. Do you need something? Let me know if you'd like some mead. <gasps> Someone stole my chicken egg! <coughs> Far off in the land of Skyrim, there is a tale of a great hero that is to save the land and its people. This is the fable of the dragon. Can I get board. you anything? Greetings, friend. You know our hero Thanks to our crops, Amber Creek hasn't once had a famine. I tell you, I tell oh, you, hello. the dragon comes. With a voice we Power so of the We're ancient Lord. I offer you a trade whenever you need it. You saved my life. For that, I must repay. Take these. It's the least I can do. You've been so helpful to me in Artland that I'd be willing to trade with it's you right now if you'd like. Greetings. Stay Relax safe. and have fun. Just don't cause any trouble. Or get. Gabriel will throw you.
Before the darkness has passed and the legend Stay yes. Thanks again for everything you've done for me and Otman. We really do appreciate it. You'll know. You'll what can this lumberjack do? The dragonborns come. What can I help you with? My sister Nyola is in charge of renting rooms. You should get a She's cat. probably asleep downstairs. You Whether you're you can go wake of her course, up. She it's won't yours mind. for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. You'll be in here. Let me know if you need anything else. Excuse me, my friend. I still can't believe what happened to Was that really necessary? Oh, 